I'm always fascinated by history and where better to learn about history at the Welcome. And, uh, and what a galaxy of talent we have here from scientists, uh, psychiatric academics, clinical psychiatrists, teachers, trainers, students uh, and, and our trainees. What's been really interesting about today is we've had so many different speakers working on all sorts of things from zebrafish to clinical trials in humans and deep brain stimulation but it's all the real theme has been about understanding circuits and how it's by understanding those circuits that we're really going to get closer to new treatments and that's really exciting. I think the best trained psychiatrists will have to be good neuroscientists. Uh, maybe they don't need neuroscience now, but I think in five years, 10 years, 15 years, they'll need it more and more. And the best psychiatrists will be ones who know neuroscience. Uh, that's where the treatments are going. That's where the understanding is coming from. And we have unique insights into right, what our patients go through, so we can have new ideas about things um, if we think sideways. But it's really important to to work across disciplines and not just as psychiatrists on our own, but to work with uh, neuroscientists, neuroimaging, medical physicists, medical engineers, all those things. I think that the link between psychiatry and neuroscience is just so important and it's not something we can ignore anymore. I mean, there have been so many advances and we need to bring them to the benefit of our patients and we're not going to be able to do that if we aren't trained in neuroscience ourselves. So it's exciting to think about unravelling some of the processes that may be involved in uh, brain circuitry and so on uh, and start to think about ways that people's lives with these you know, chronic long-term conditions with very high morbidity uh, can potentially be helped in the future. What makes psychiatry unique is that it's not just neuroscience, it's neuroscience plus the social and the psychological. So I think bringing all of that together is very important for inspiring people into psychiatry. Um, having an opportunity to learn how they can both come together will allow us to have a better idea of how our futures will look like and also ultimately help us be better clinicians. So I think this is a wonderful way to sort of kickstart our interest in that. It's been a real privilege to hear some of the people that we've heard speak who are absolutely at the forefront of their fields. Everybody that's speaking today is fantastic. It really reflects the cutting edge of psychiatry and neuroscience. So from a content perspective, it's uh, really extraordinary. More of this, this is the first one we're going to, we've done, but as I said, there will be more and they will be getting, as they say, better and better.